Game of Thrones. And I what? wanted to talk about why that this show, I'm going to give five reasons why this show is the greatest show on today. And there's a lot of good shows out there today. There's a bunch that I watch, especially like the Netflixes and stuff like that. They have some awesome content coming out there. But I'm going to give you reasons why you should just watch Game of Thrones. Just don't worry about anything else. Just watch Game of Thrones. Reason number five. Um, it's just such an excellently crafted world. I mean, you get so immersed in this world. Uh, it's got a rich hurt history, diverse lands. I mean, you have like Westeros and then you have like, uh, you know, the desert continent. <laughs> so I don't remember what it's called right now because... Yeah, I'm off. Um, but you just have, and you have really cool landmarks. You have the wall, you have, uh, you know, King's Landing. You just have these great, just imagined places that just feel so real, even though they're, they're fake. And it's also got this really cool mixture of, you know, magic and mythology going in. There's so much lore and stuff, you know, this, uh, just the backstory is just great. And if you believe that um, the setting, you know, the landscape can be a character, it has an amazing character to it. So that's, that's reason number five. Reason number four, um, the characters themselves are great. The villains are just so evil and you hate them so much. You just you just wish that they would, you know, get killed. And a lot of them do, to be honest with you. But they just make them... It's so fun to hate the villains. And then you have the good guys. And whereas the good guys usually don't have too much of a longevity, you really root for them. And, and it really hurts when one of them gets pulled out early, mm -hmm. earlier than you think they should, at least. And so it just that really great mixture of villains and good guys. But then you have this whole gray area, which is another third of the cast, which is just so fun because you can't decide whether they're good or bad or whether you want to root for them or not. And it just, it's just such a great mixture of, I've never quite seen a show where it had just such a good mixture of good and evil. And then in the middle, mm. usually they're like, okay, these are the good guys. These are the bad guys. Maybe one turncoat guy that you don't know one way or the exactly. other that goes back and forth. But not just such a great range uh, of, you know, characters. So that's reason number four. Reason number three, uh, this kind of goes back to the landscape and everything, but the costumes are amazing. It really makes you feel like, okay, this is this is its own world. And then the sets are great, too. When, you, when you're in the town of Can King's Landing, it's awesome. When they're sitting on the wall, it's amazing. When they're in Winterfell, when they're in one of these, these set places, it just, it's every place is unique and has its own feel to it. And then all the people who are in those places all dress unique and they, they really makes you feel like this is its own world. This is a real place. So it, it just really helps with the immersion of the entire show. So that's, that's an amazing thing too. So, I mean, I, I just can't stop gushing about this show, but let's keep on moving to number two. Um, the writing, the writing has to be some of the best things ever. It just, it masterfully tells a story. It, it balances it very well of jumping from character to character and there's a lot of characters in this show it's almost like a soap opera but you don't feel it's so so sporadic it it com bring comes to a uh, character tells that story moves to another character tells that story then comes back or forward and and there's there's something like in the books i know there's something like 37 main characters in the show there's probably like 13 14 main characters that you see the story perspective from at any given point in time and it doesn't ever feel like it's too much you know and that mm -hmm. that can be really a big thing you can get overwhelmed by a show like that where they're jumping from place to place and it just seems like they give you enough of each character uh so that you feel like you know them and you know what's going on in their story and you just don't feel lost i mean there are places here and there where you, you can go off the rails you're like oh i don't remember that guy from a season or two ago but it, it just it's an awesome show Brennan, have you seen the first season yet nope again Brennan does not watch tv shows all right so reason i number especially don't watch stuff i have to well, i guess i do watch stuff i have to pay for because i have to pay for Netflix. No, no, so. no 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 you still have my complete box set of season number one and he's silent yeah is he not gonna, are you are you just not going to say you have it or maybe he just can't talk. So let's move on to reason number one. And Brendan does have season number one of mine. I let him borrow it. So there's no excuses for it. But reason number one is just the unpredictability of the whole show. It's just crazy. You never know what's going to happen. You might think you know what's going to happen. They might take your hand and lead you down this path to here. 
This is nice and easy. You are going to be able to figure out what happens right here. And then, boom, you take a 180 and you go somewhere else. It's just absurd. You never know what character is going to die. And they've been doing this since since really the first and second season. Um, it's just, it's <sighs> once they attach it, once you really start feeling good about a character is when they kill them. You know, <laughs> you never know. The bad guys aren't safe. The good guys aren't safe. The guys in the middle aren't safe. You never know what's going to happen. People are just dying left, right, and sideways. And that's not all. The plot twists are amazing. They, they're like, okay, hey, you think this? Well, now you're going to have to think this. So it's just, it's up, down, left, right, and sideways. Uh, this show keeps you guessing at all times. And I think that's part of the joy of it. Because you can't really see what's going on. You, you Nobody sits there and like, you see some of these movies where you can predict like, oh, I knew what the ending was going to be. Oh, I knew that guy was behind it all. You can't tell that with Game of Thrones. Nobody knows what's going on with this thing. It's so <laughs> random and sporadic, yet it feels like it's well planned out. So, yeah, I, I think the, the fact that it always keeps me guessing always keeps me on my toes is a reason why I love this show. So those are my five reasons why I love the show. If you've watched it, let me know what you think. Why, why do you love the show so much? Again, I mean, I, I think there's plenty of other things that I love about the show, but those are, those are some of the things that I think get me hooked that make me feel that this is the best show on today. So hit us up, let us know, comments down below. Of course, at words, my face on Twitter, Google plus Facebook, always good ways of getting. Home.